morning and welcome to Take 5. Thanks for starting your Saturday with us. I'm your host, Carla Salinas. The Father's Day weekend is here and we've got some great ideas for all dads. Take 5's Melissa Olivares takes us to El Dorado Sporting Clays. Check it out. Thinking about pulling all the stops for dad this Father's Day? Pull. So were we. El Dorado Sporting Clays has what you need to get some family one-on-one -on -one time as well as some really good target practice. Located in Lynn, this shooting range started as a hobby for manager Anthony Vasquez and eventually turned into a family tradition. We started about seven years ago on and it all started out with a single shot clay shooter in the backyard with my family, you know, dad, sister, even Jonas was there too. And slowly it started evolving into a greater and greater thing to where now we can provide for other families what we had. We want families to come out here and to enjoy the country life like we did. Oh. That country life tradition has now grown into a 130 acre range with 10 different shooting stations where you and your group can take aim at some clay. However, a bit of preparation is required before you're able to fire away. Be prepared to bring your own shotgun, your own ammunition, ear protection and eye protection. We will provide you with a safety briefing video before you go out on the range and just have fun and be careful. For first timers, I guess we can kind of show you how that goes, kind of show you how to shoot and stuff like that. And it's exciting for people. I know it was for, for me when I first started shooting, I got really addicted to it, wanted to do it every weekend. If you're a beginner like me, don't worry. Anthony and Jonas say there are patrols and procedures to ensure your safety when at El Dorado. And of course, we can't forget to mention the fun family space that awaits your summer barbecue parties. You can come out here, have a cookout. You know, you can enjoy the, uh, the nice, uh, I guess, layout we have here. We also have a stage there for live music and stuff like that. And it's just uh, an opportunity for you to come and experience something different. The sky's the limit out here. Day is yours, whatever you guys want to do, and we'll accommodate and move around with you. If you're interested in getting dad and your family out to El Dorado, you can call them to arrange your reservation at 956-381-9811. For any upcoming events or tournaments, make sure to also check out their Facebook page at El Dorado Sporting Clays. For Take 5, I'm Millicent Olivares. From the great outdoors to 5x5 five five brewing and mission is where I found out firsthand that there's a story behind every brew. In the RGV where the spirit of Texas runs deep, there's a brewery that's as bold and unapologetic as the state itself. Founded by veterans of the U.S. military, 5x5 five five Brewing Co. is a tribute to service, sacrifice, and the shared bond of those who have served. Not to mention, they have some really good beer. We will really try to make the tap room um, kind of a safe space for uh, veterans, law enforcement, first responders in general, but in the general community as well. Uh, we don't, we, we treat the, the brewery like Thanksgiving dinner. No politics, uh, no religion, it's just fun, you know, good time. Back in the day in military communication, 5x5 five five was a term to signify a message that was being received loud and clear. A fitting name for the brewery that has made a huge wave in the RGB. We, we have good beer and it's not me being uh, a stock up on my own beer, right? I really enjoy drinking our beer and other people who did too. Um, so when it comes to um, volume in, in, in uh, pretty much Corpus Down, uh, we are the largest craft beer uh, brand that it, per volume in, in South Texas. All 5x5 five five beers are brewed right here in the small brewery in Mission. You'd be surprised to see how much science it really takes to make some of their most famous beers. From day one, uh, our brunette bombshell uh, was like our big, big seller. Uh, we introduced a, uh, an Irish red uh, called Fubar. Uh, that became second best, almost ranked with that. We have a blonde out uh, in the, uh, the market as well called Moorfield Blonde, named after Moorfield here. The Los Vaqueros beer, we partnered with UTRGV. It's the official beer uh, of UTRGV. Uh, it's, it's available at like the baseball games, uh, football next year. It's gonna be f fabulous for that. Um, but we were the first beer in the UT system ever. So it was really cool to, to, to do firsts and have the spotlight be on the Rio Grande Valley community. 
Brewing starts with milling the grain, adding some water to extract the sugars, transferring that to a boil, and then adding the hops. Uh, we'll also, uh, in beers that um, have a higher alcohol content or have a favorite flavor profile like our brunette bombshell, uh, we'll add like molasses and honey. And you get, some, uh, you get the flavors of it, but you also get the, what we call the adjunct sugars. And the whole process of the boil is to break down those, those uh, proteins and take some of the water out, condense the, the, the liquid that we call wort to a point where we can transfer that to the fermentation. But all this in lamest terms just means they're just quote unquote, making the yeast happy. But at 5 by 5 it's not just about the beer, it's about the mission. It's, it's bringing that service that we did as, uh, as uh, military um, service members back to the community. So 5 by 5 we hear your message loud and clear, and I'm happy you're here in the RGV making some really great beer. So whether you're a veteran, a beer enthusiast, or just someone who really appreciates a good pint, come on down to 5 by 5 Brewing Company. We are back with another Take 5 Off and Dads. This one is for you. I'm here with Shooter's Leather Company owner, Rosendo de los Rios. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you now, for having me. He is giving our viewers 20% off, which we're so excited about, so thankful. Perfect for Father's Day. Now, how can our viewers take advantage of that 20% off? So the way they can do that is either online, the website, shootersleathercompany.com, uh, sign up for the email list, um, and I'm actually gonna do a raffle for Father's Day. Uh, whichever wallet that they like, um, free of charge, just I'm gonna pick somebody from that email list. Also, when you make a purchase online, you can use Take5 as a discount code and you'll get that 20% off. Perfect, well, thank you very much for doing that for our viewers. Now, Rosendo, I came across your Instagram profile and I saw that you actually can make everything with like a laser beam? Yeah, um, for the most part, most of the work is done by hand. So as far as the cutting is concerned, the dyeing, um, stitching, all of that stuff is done by hand. It's the graphics that are uh, basically done by a laser engraver and that's just to, you know, get an exact image of whatever the, the customer wants. That is so amazing. So you can actually hand make and, and do some custom orders. So if someone were to come to you with, let's say, a logo, would you be able to do that for them? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I have some stuff, like you guys got that right there that has y'all's logo on it. Y'all have to see this. It's so adorable. We've got our logo here. We've got our name here. Completely done by you. Yeah, absolutely. So I take pride in being able to offer that to customers and any you know friends and family that come to me and ask for some stuff. Uh, but I do offer that stuff to businesses as well. So I have some coasters here, a uh, keychain. Um, I know people that sell cars or sell homes and stuff like that. It's a oh, small yeah. little gift that they can give to the person that buys from them. Uh, so I've done that quite a few uh, times for some people around the valley. So Rosendo, I have to ask you, you know, how how did you start something like this? Because I know that you work actually out of your home. This is kind of like a hobby for you. Yeah, so it was a hobby that kind of turned into a business through word of mouth. Friends started contacting me and saying, hey, you think you can make this? And uh, I messed up a whole lot of leather. I went through a whole bunch of leather before I finally got to the point that I am at today, but I'm glad I didn't give up. And, and you know, now I'm, I'm able to offer people something nice uh, that they can get for their money, you know? Well, I know we're all glad that you didn't end up giving up. <laughs> yeah, I sure am too, and I'm, I know the wife is too. When the I get a sale or two, it helps out. Well, hopefully this helps out too. Again, you guys, 20% off. Now, Rosendo, one more time, where can people find you if they do want to take advantage of that? So, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Uh, there, I'm also on Snapchat, so you can see the process of a lot of this stuff getting made through Snapchat. Um, and again, the website would be the easiest and quickest way to go about it. So that would be, again, ShootersLeatherCompany.com. Well, we appreciate you so much for joining us today. And thank you so much for giving thank our viewers you for that special me. discount. If dad prefers that leather around his feet, then Moran's Boots has the footwear for him. A Take 5 tour of their facility is coming up next. Plus, stick around. We're going to be taking you to a food truck in Edinburgh that's serving up tacos, burgers, hot dogs, papasada, and so much more right after this break. Welcome back, Moran's boots can fit any cowboy with that perfect set of custom boots, but if you can't part ways with your old pair, they can fix those up too. Take 5's Trista Castillo has more from them right next door. Hey everyone, I am surrounded by boots today. We got to meet the family who's been making custom boots for over 60 years. 
I'm at Moran's Boots in Westlaco. Just like the old saying goes, a cowboy is nothing without his horse. But in this case, I think a cowboy is nothing without his boots. Moran's Boots has been serving Westlaco and the RGV with custom-designed cowboy boots for over 50 years. And it's all thanks to the Moran family that has been passing on this boot-making trait for three generations. The business was started with my grandfather. He started repairing boots as a kid back in uh, his hometown, San Luis, Mexico. He would eventually go to Reynosa, and from there he would come to the U.S. and he would work at actually really big boot shops uh, back in the day such as um, Anderson Bean or uh, even Lucchese. Gaining that experience, he would eventually come to West Lico, open his own shop, and the, the location we're at right now is our third location. We've been here for over 27 years. Although they've had this location for 27 years, owner Rafael Moran told us he's been making boots since he was 10 years old. And how does Mr. Moran feel after working all of these years? Cansado. <laughs> Muy satisfecho de haber hecho todo esto el patrimonio para mis hijos y mis nietos. Grandson Jason Moran tells us his grandfather is now in his late 70s and is always there to lend a hand. As a family, we're always trying to just help each other out and make sure that everything's done right and smoothly. Sometimes I have to lean on my grandpa, even though he's older, he still likes to work, he still likes to feel real important. And uh, he's the one that if we have a problem, we'll still be, we'll call the, the old man up and we'll be, hey, we need some help. And he, he's always there, we need it. Jason tells us that not only do they sell boots, but they can customize whatever you like on your boot. They have every type of boot you can ask for, from square toe, ostrich, snake, crocodile, to even fish. And they do repairs. Jason and Raphael say it's the care and love that they put into the boot that is unmatched. We still kind of go the old school route, like even though my grandfather taught everyone that works in the back and he still has us working the old school way of cutting everything by hand, stitching by hand. You know, even when we do certain initials, we still do it the old school way where it's, you want them to stand out, we cut them out. So I'd like to say that we're still more of a classic boot making uh, shop. So after carrying on their legacy for decades, we asked, what's next for Moran's Boots? possibly continuing generation after generation the best we can to keep pushing the business forward and into the next generation and the next generation after that, hopefully. If you're ready to boot scoop boogie, visit Moran's Boots on Expressway 83 in West Lago. For Take 5, I'm Trista Castillo. The City of Fart is calling all skateboarders details on their skate jam coming up next. Plus, this little guy might be perfect for dad and the entire family. We'll introduce you to our Take 5 Pet of the Week when we return. Calling all skaters, the City of Far Parks and Rec Skate Jam is right around the corner. Competition, live music, and so much more. And the best part, it's all completely free. So here with all of those details is Yuri Tia Gonzalez. Yuri, it's so good to see you again. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here again, Carla. Well, we're excited for the event. I know it's your first ever. So tell our viewers what they can expect at this brand new event. Right, so we have a big skating community and we're excited that we have parks that offer those amenities and those uh, resources for these guys to go and show off their skills and practice, right? So the Skate Jam is really just a competition. It's going to consist of uh, two dynamics happening. So the first portion is a one-on-one. -on -one. So it's almost like you show me your skills, Carlita, and I'll show you, I'll show you mine, right? It's a one-on-one. -on -one. But then they're also having the second portion of it, which is a very freestyle. So it's kind of like everyone competing and showing their best moves and it's it's free to register and sign up. So we're excited. I believe we only have 10 people as of now. So we really encourage that skating community to come out to Pepe Salinas, which is our park and rec office, our parks and rec office and just uh, register. 
it sounds like it's going to be such an amazing time. And also, what a great way to just get outside. I feel like right now is the time. You know, it may be hot outside, but you know what? Some sunblock. We got to get the kids out there. A absolutely. And I think, Carlita, you, you mentioned, you know, quality of life. Go and visit some of the amenities we have in the city of Far. But also, it's really, you know, showcasing and that attention onto them. Sometimes we don't have, you know, many events around that skill set. And so it's a way to show them like, hey, we're looking at this community. We know you're talented. And the best thing is we're going to have cash prices. So I'm not going to disclose the amount. They have to figure that on their own. But um, so there's perks to this competition as well cash prizes, bragging rights. It sounds like it's going to be an amazing time. Now, Yudi, what age group are we talking here? Are little kids invited or is it more sort of teenagers well, or adults? We really encourage those twen, uh, 12 and over um, and older, I'm sorry, to uh, you know really go out there and register. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We really don't know what to expect because this is the first one. So this is why we're excited that we're here and that we're able to promote this event through your platform to just get the word out. So come out, it's free. If there's additional questions for parents, make your way to 1121, which is uh, West Kelly. That's where our Pepe Salinas uh, building is at uh, for more information. So if it's a successful event, what I've seen in the past with the city of Far is that these events just grow, you know, uh, we keep them in the calendar and we just add uh, to these events. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Today. Thank you guys and good luck with everything else that you guys have going on here. Thank you very much, Judy. Again, don't miss out on this year's Far Skate Jam June 22nd at the Victor Garcia Municipal Park. An adorable puppy or kitten will make a great addition to any family. Take Vibes Millicent Olivares introduces us to our pet of the week. We've got a new pet for you to meet this week and her name is Lexi Gray. Look at this coat. I mean, come on, you gotta love her. She is a pointer short hair mix and she's just about three months. That means that she's ready to get into your home baby and join her new family. She's available at the Rio Grande Valley Humane Society. In fact, if you are looking for a pet to adopt, you can join them today at their adoption event and get this. All fees are waived today. It's happening until 6 p.m. Again, that's at the Rio Grande Valley Humane Society. You can call the number that you see on your screen to get all the information about Miss Lexi Gray herself or any of the other animals that they have available. For Take Five's Pet of the Week, I'm Millicent Olivares. If dad prefers a taco with his burger, then Taco Burger Daniel is the place for him. Take Five takes you there next. Take five, we are looking for a place to eat and I am in the mood for tacos, I'm in the mood for burgers, fries and all the fixings and we heard about a food truck that is serving up just that. It's called Taco Burger Daniel, it's in the city of Edinburgh, no I didn't just stutter, it's actually called Taco Burger Daniel and I'm hungry so let's pay them a visit. Welcome to Taco Burger Daniel, how can I help you? Alright, let me get a double meat cheeseburger. Okay. An orden de tacos de bistec, molleja, and al pastor. Okay. And then some shrimp tacos. Sounds good. A Mexican hot dog. And you know what? Throw in a papa salad too. Okay, Taco Burger, Daniel, let's see what you're all about. I'm going in straight for the shrimp tacos. Oh, cheese pull approved. Here we go. Mm. Mm. If the burger is anything like the taco, then I know we're headed in for a straight 10 out of 10, but let's see. Mm. That is so good. So this is Daniel Gutierrez, otherwise known as Taco Burger Daniel. Okay, so Daniel, why Taco Burger then? Actually, because we started doing festivals. That's how everything started. We would just sell taco and burgers and we didn't have a name. I told my wife, hey, what, where do we put ourselves? And she said, 
taco and burger in your Daniel. And I'm like, oh, there it is, taco burger Daniel. So we just got done trying your food, and I know that you mentioned to me that the burger was actually really special because it's not your recipe, but your mama's recipe. So what, what kind of did it have in it that made it, it so unique? Love. Actually, when I cook, and I tell my employees, anytime you cook, make sure you do it just like if you're gonna eat it yourself. I just put my pride and, and my effort, honestly, and that's, that's one of the reasons. And of course, we have our recipe, but that's our recipe. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have a little bit of everything. I even saw you have some wings here. We sell a little bit of everything. Everything that we do, we have to do, actually I have to eat it, I have to uh, show it to my family. If they approve it, they're like, oh, this is really good, put it in. And that's how it is. Have you always loved cooking? Going to Mexico when I was 11, every weekend, I saw the taqueros and I'm like, wow, they put effort into it. And ever since, I loved it. So what made you decide to open up a place of your own? The people. I told my wife, hey, we should open a place. And we, we've been here for a year and a half and a lot of people has come. So actually, the people. So come and try us. Give us a try. At, we're here at Edinburgh at 3017 South Sugar Road, Edinburgh, Texas, 78542. Come check it out. Try those tacos de molleja. You're not going to forget them. And here are some events happening across the valley. Movies in the park at the McKellen Sports Park is back. Enjoy the elemental movie with friends and family under the night sky today at 7 p.m. Plus, our friends over at Leona Style are having a summer soiree today until 7. Enjoy from sizzling deals plus fun collabs with your favorite local businesses. And check out the City of Edinburgh's Juneteenth Festival at the Edinburgh Food Truck Park, an event showcasing the rich black heritage of the Rio Grande Valley, all starting at 7 p.m. That's all the time we have for now, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on Take 5. We'll be back tomorrow with more fun. Until then, have a great day, guys.